Hi, Dave here, and this is episode 15 of the art review series. And this time, we're going to take a look at the work of Milan Nikolic. Now, Milan Nikolic is a senior concept designer and art director, and he's also from Serbia. So, the first time I saw his uh, name was actually from some kind of YouTube comment thread. And uh, there were some positive uh, reviews of Milan's work. So I was like, you know what? Let me check out his art station. And he does have an art station. Not just an art station, but uh, also a pretty cool YouTube channel. Now, he doesn't post as much in his YouTube channel. But thankfully, he does have a few videos uh, showing his process and his kind of approach when it comes to his paintings and stuff. So I will be linking uh, his links in the description below and uh, yeah. So this is his first piece posted six years ago and you know Milan Nikolic actually focuses more on uh, creature designs I think. That's kind of his expertise. But yeah he actually does have a good grasp of 2D painting drawing and also some 3d uh, work and uh, but again it doesn't really matter because even if he focuses on 3d or 2d his work generally looks the same or it has the same kind of uh, feel so he does have a certain kind of style or aesthetic that he wants especially with his designs he has a certain kind of lean So yeah, this is one of his earlier works, the Basilisk Concept, uh, done for Redgate movies. Okay. So as you can see, he has a few sketches here, kind of a steady grayscale line drawing, and then he painted uh, this guy. Pretty cool. Um, so this was posted six years ago, environment concept. Now he doesn't actually do a lot of environment concepts, but uh, yeah, with the way he kind of does his colors, you can kind of see it in his work. It's kind of textured. His The way he colors is actually more textured than um, I would uh, expect. So again, this is done for Red Gate movies, a scene with the basilisk, this kind of a uh, creature thing. Very cool concept, very interesting. It's kind of a bird slash, I'm not sure, kind of a dragon bird. Anyway, um, okay, so this is a uh, Feed the Addiction, you know, at least that's the title of this uh, art piece. It's the MTG cell site landing page. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, yeah. So this is kind of more of a thing. If you look at the way he colors, colors the sketches, it's way textured. Like you, you can actually see a very kind of rough kind of variation when he does his colors so that's actually kind of interesting um because usually i would kind of expect artists to kind of start with a base color right i mean he probably does it but there's just something about the way he uh paints that makes it more um gritty and more textured um but again, he, d he does focus more on creature character designs, more than environments and stuff. So these are some head designs, um, variations of the head of the basilisk. Some weapons. Mm, this one's pretty tight for his kind of work. I guess it's because I'm kind of used to his creature designs. So yeah. So this one's also more tight or tighter than I would expect from his work, but uh, it's a pretty cool kind of finished looking character illustration. This was posted six years ago, so in kind of the same era <laughs> or timeline, 
kind of a creature head concept now this is way more painterly and uh yeah you can actually see his strokes in this view usually when you see most of his kind of creature stuff it's kind of zoomed out and uh, i mean you can probably see his strokes once you kind of uh zoom in obviously but it looks way tighter uh when you can see like the whole figure so this one is another character concept character concept posted six years ago oh so this is more of his thing this is starting to look more like his average type of work now this was posted six years ago uh creature scene so it's kind of in the same timeline now milan nikolik actually likes uh he likes doing the motion blurs and adding that kind of cinematic cinematic effect with the shit i'm still not sure what the uh the term is for that kind of uh red and blue or red and green kind of a uh, shift but uh, yeah that's kind of a key signature in his work uh, and he also likes adding noise uh, just a bit of noise to add slight slight texture so this is a shield concept oh ho, ho. i believe he does have a video of this on his youtube oh he does so i do recommend you check out milan's uh youtube video of this and you can kind of feel the way he paints it's pretty cool you know what? i should drag this um so he doesn't always start with uh he doesn't always start with a drawing he uh he can start with the actual kind of painting right mm. <clears throat> shit oh, okay and i love how he plays with the kind of organic forms right here so you can tell this is a kind of shoulder that he just kind of uh blended blended into this kind of creature thing and I do like this style of painting. It's more dynamic, more bold, direct, and not overly tight. It reminds me of a Derek Zabrocki's kind of painting style. And uh, there's just something about it. Um, yeah. And Milan is more of the opaque kind of painter. You know, he's not, he's not using a lot of a circle opacity type of brushes. He likes to keep it compact but uh yeah so this is tighter um a drone design right Ooh, hoo -hoo, i actually like this uh so again you can see the kind of the uh, the blurs in the background um the kind of effects of these um leaves and this kind of uh, i think i'm not sure i can't verify this but i think milan was a student or was in um was an apprentice in the kind of mentorship program of Anthony Jones. I can't verify that, but uh, yeah. So I, I, I don't know how. <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> um, yeah. So you can tell Milan has a thing for organic types of forms. So maybe that's why he's really more into the creature designs and stuff. So here is a wire warrior armor concept um again you can see the way he colors there's actually texture in the way he colors it is very interesting um like there's more variation and not kind of a basic um flat type of coloring um even though it looks tight the painting it's still kind of varied and uh, again the motion blurs and very painterly, especially with the background and the uh, kind of the cast shadow, right? Oh, he, I think he does have a video of this. I'm not sure. But uh, again, I think this is a speed paint of his. And it's kind of similar to the previous one where uh, he does have a video of that linked in his art station. But this... Again, the motion blurs in the background, very painterly style. Um, again, I'm very impressed by this type of painting. You know, um, shit. 
it looks so enough excuse me it looks complete enough even though it's just a kind of sketch I do a kind of a speed paint it looks very 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 um, presentable I'll say that and look at the way he does the uh, the lighting a bit of yellow here to indicate the kind of light source from this part and then some kind of top-down lighting right here and again it's very good with the kind of organic types of forms very interesting so these are more weapon designs posted six years ago so th th these are very old um, not old, not super old but they're quite old uh, artworks so this is a sci-fi planet environment I've actually I haven't actually seen this guy before but uh, this one's pretty cool um, yeah but I don't think it does have a lot of environments in its work oh shit excuse me uh, but yeah it's very dynamic um, let me just look at it again yeah it's pretty cool and again very organic now this one is an orc illustration for some kind of board game um, nice again I like his painting style it's uh so this one is a drone repair or that's the title at least of this thing okay so maybe this guy needs repair probably because uh, it seems broken and kind of uh yeah <laughs> wow, wow, wow 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 so i'm not sure if he used uh he doesn't oh it's digital 2d so maybe he just used photoshop for this one it actually looks kind of 3D to me. Damn. You know what? Let's kind of zoom in. You know what? Fuck. I think he just used 2D. I mean, look at that. Again, he likes to add that kind of cinematic effect with the kind of green and red kind of shift. Um, and if you really zoom in, it's actually very impressionistic, right? And I do like seeing the spacing of the brush. It does add that kind of a nice texture. Um, you know, I often like adding some kind of natural type of texture, canvas texture to my brushes. But, uh, you know, when it comes to digital painting, it does have its own texture. Um, or has its own kind of a unique thing. And I think one of those things is the kind of... Uh, the kind of spacing excuse me of the brushes and it does add that nice kind of a uh, feel to it <laughs> excuse me so he does paint within it you can see it does clean up the edges so maybe he kind of paints within a certain silhouette right and then some uh, extra stuff wow okay so this one is a kind of image that he just kind of uh, pasted and stuff. Oh, fuck me. Oh, so this was posted six years ago. So a lot of these are really old. Um, again, really cool concept. Motion blur. Some slight cinematic kind of effect. And uh, some scuba divers right here. So this guy is pretty big. Um, very interesting. Um, so this one is a Diablo 3 Blizzard contest. Hmm. Some more sketches. Damn. Damn, so maybe this guy is influenced by Anthony Jones because I'm starting to see a bit of a feel, some Jones feel in this one. But the Milan is kind of in a different level. Oh, easy. It's just that he looks more different or his work looks more like beyond 
right? Damn. Look at that. Again, he does like to add a motion blur or Gaussian blur in the sides. And he does like to add that cinematic effect, kind of shift, um, 3D cinematic effect. And I do like this. Uh, he started out with a simple line sketch and then just started painting and painting and he showed that kind of a Like a fade of his rendering right here <laughs> Really cool stuff Can we zoom in? Oh shit. Can we zoom in? Hmm. No, we can't <coughs> Excuse me Hmm. Okay, so this guy was posted four years ago, actually. He did use ZBrush key shot. Okay, but again, you can tell with in terms of his design, design, it does have a certain Nicolic feel. Um, this one's a, uh, a tank. <laughs> kind of a tank. Ooh, more creature stuff. Very cool. Very cool. Damn. Look at that. It's pretty bold. I do like the way he paints. It's very uh, tight and painterly at the same time. I like the way he did this stroke right here. And you can see the kind of edge of the brush kind of fading in. The, the blurs in the background. <sighs> Shit. And again, this guy is in, its, uh, in his own layer, I'm assuming. Um, because of the edges, you can kind of see it's pretty cut. Ooh, hoo -hoo. He does have a live stream of this on his YouTube. Very interesting. So some kind of line sketch in the beginning, some base colors with some uh, shadows, and then he just kind of built it up to this level. Wow, you know what? Let's zoom in for a bit. Oh, it doesn't zoom as much. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. Um, and you can tell his creatures, his kind of character creature designs are kind of in a different, different uh, level. Um, they're very unique. Um, wow. Oh, I remember, I s remember seeing this in some kind of Pinterest kind of a uh, thing. And wow, so he did this concept. Very interesting. Can we zoom in? We can. Wow. So maybe he did use some texture a bit for this part. But it's mostly painting. Look at that. It's kind of a silhouette thing there. I love the way he does fabrics. It's very uh, cool. Nice gun. So this thing is kind of an organic creature that is part mech. Look at that. Nice. Again, I think this is some kind of a speed painting, but it looks so his. Like he owns this kind of aesthetic feel. Again, blurs, the kind of cinematic effect, and then some nice highlights, awesome rendering style. So Diablo redesign. So it's done for a brainstorm FB group. Very cool. Ah, damn, that's so cool. Again, with the highlights. And the rendering of the organic forms um, and again you can tell this is pro it, it looks like his work you know he does have a certain uh, go to default um, aesthetic right flow so the title of this thing is flow <sighs> I love the lighting bit here damn 
and then some yellow here, yellow here, yellow here. He kind of blurred the bottom part. He does like doing the blurs and the kind of cinematic effect stuff. So this is some kind of chick with an organic kind of a uh, 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 co not costume but a uh, attire or uh, clothing. Damn, Christ! <laughs> this one's actually—it feels like a kind of Japanese-inspired thing. Because I think it's in Japan where they have the kind of masks and stuff for the face. Kind of a white mask. And then, yeah, it does remind me of a kimono in a way. So this could be a Japanese inspired thing, maybe. Um, shit. Out of this world, I'm at. Oh, some kind of a... <clears throat> Bionic designs. Hmm. So, uh, posted five years ago, actually. Um, who the fuck am I? Good question. <laughs> yep, again with the motion blur, cinematic effect. You can see here the kind of red bit here and the green. And he added some uh, noise. And again, the painting, very organic. Oops, I think I skipped one. Ooh, hoo hoo. So I think he's using 3D for this one. Yep. So what program did he use? Um, ZBrush, Marvelous Designer, and Keyshot. But again, it looks like his work because of the, uh, the kind of the forms and stuff. I think he does have a video of this, right? Yep, he does. Cool. Again, it's very his style. I love the painting. Can we zoom in? Oh, uh, not much. Uh, still really cool. And again, the, the string stuff, it's very Anthony Jones. <laughs> um, damn, bro. Okay. Again, he likes playing with all sorts of uh, forms. I think this is some kind of butterfly wing. Maybe. Wow. Kind of hot. <laughs> Oof. So he did some 3D sketches and then developed it probably in Photoshop. Maybe. Pretty cool. Maybe this is some kind of ZBrush kind of thing. And I think 3D is great for doing some kind of a like a good solid base for environments, creatures, characters, and then Photoshop as the kind of a uh, the final phase, right? The final solution. Oh, so this one is some ship designs. Nice. Posted five years ago. Hmm, it's been a while. And again, he likes to uh, play with the kind of highlights. Or it's not a highlight, it's kind of a lighting kind of effect. He does a kind of top down lighting and then kind of a side yellow lighting. Right here. Ooh! <laughs> this one's hot. Damn! It actually reminds me of the bad guy in Ant-Man, because uh, the yellows and the blacks, fuck. Again, very organic kind of forms. I love the painting style, very kind of bold. Um, cinematic effect right here. I love the blues. There's some kind of blue lighting here. And then some yellow kind of uh, forms. 
I love these kind of snakes and stuff. It's kind of a uh, damn. And his forms are so unique. Um, they're kind of a mix between organic and biomechanical. Kind of a, it's kind of biomechanical in a way. Um, you can't really see the mechanics, but uh, you can tell that it's not fully natural. Or I feel, at least, it's not fully natural. Damn. Blurs. Awesome kind of lighting. Uh, wow. Some more 3D stuff. Again, it's kind of his... It's still in, in his kind of realm. So, yeah. Ooh, these ones are actually more sketchy. Um, random explorations. So I do like he did the line sketch in the beginning and then used some soft brushes. Wow, these are cool. I'm gonna save that. Damn. Oh, I love this one. Look at that gradation of color. From the kind of backbone to the body. Very interesting. So, yep, kind of a, shit, what's this called, the kind of turnaround kind of thing, design exploration, um, nice, bro. So this could just be 2D, not sure, it looks 2D to me, but damn. Oh no, he probably has a 3D base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool nonetheless. Oh my god. Lana. That's the name at least. Um, damn. Ugh. His designs plus his kind of painting style. It just fits, right? Fuck. Did he use 3D here? Oh, he did not. Or maybe he did, I'm not sure. Fuck. Again, he likes to add a bit of noise. Some blurs, some kind of shift. Oh, he didn't use it for this one, I think. And it's pretty good with the lighting and stuff. Damn. Oh shit. Oh my god. Again, the motion blurs. The kind of organic kind of forms. Some noise. Some kind of cinematic 3D effect. <sighs> shit. So, what is this? More designs. Uh, one day, 3D will be my <laughs> thing. Um, damn. Thick legs, bro. Uh, very interesting. Um, wow. And you can tell his kind of earlier works influenced his more recent type of stuff it's very uh again it's very unique to his style not just his painting but uh his kind of design feel aesthetic it's very similar this kind of thing it's kind of clunky organic not overly mechanical um shit and I like that he shows some of his kind of initial line sketch in the beginning. And then he focuses his rendering on the face, mostly. Ah, oh, wow. 
beautiful stuff, man. Ah, so this is a Learn Squared design, creature design course on Learn Squared. Yep. So if you want to learn more about this process, I suggest checking out its courses and stuff. Character concept. Oof. So some nice, oh, it's pretty good with the drawing as well. And then once he did the drawing, he did the, he did a very simple kind of underpainting. And it kind of shows you that you don't need to paint even. For example, this piece, all you have to do is kind of do a basic drawing and then a basic kind of a rendering kind of technique. And that's enough to get some feedback, right? And then once you finalize on, a, on an idea, you can kind of render it out more and essentially make the line work disappear. Fuck. Look at this. Again, very organic forms. Uh, even though this thing is probably not natural, it looks very biological and alive. You know what I mean? Fuck. <laughs> oh, he actually does people from time to time. Usually when he does, you know, people and stuff, it's usually kind of embedded in a kind of creature um, design. Cyberpunk concept. So this is his last post, uh, posted a year ago. So it's been a while since he has posted, but uh, hmm, he can actually do a few keyframes. So he did work with the team, so I'm not sure if uh, how much he involved himself with these illustrations, but uh, yeah. Nice character art, line drawings, basic coloring. So yeah, do check out Milan Nikolic's um, art station, follow him there, and also subscribe to his YouTube channel, which I will be linking in the description below. Uh, I hope you enjoy and uh, I hope you have a productive day and uh, stay free.